Well, it's here, guys. Today is the day that I never expected to ever happen, but it's here. We have Creek Silver Refill inks now. They are real, they are live, they are back from the dead. Yes, my friends, the Crink ink that I always talked about, the Crink ink that I always wanted, is here in my hand, and I cannot believe it. Look at that. Let's go ahead and open up this bottle just so you can take a look at it. And for those of you who don't know, I'm sure most of you know, Crink got famous for making this silver bottled ink. And I gotta say, he probably, well, he pretty much invented the, na the, the game of doing a refill bottled ink. This is probably one of the best silver inks ever made. And when, it's, when he stopped producing them, I was actually very upset about it. But now that we have him back, I'm happy. I'm glad to see it. And this is the beautiful silver bottle that we always wanted to see. Now, take a look inside of there. If you can see in the, in the video, hopefully it shows up. It's a beautiful, silver, highly reflective ink. Very, very pigmented. I don't know if it's the same as the original formula. It may be new, it may be updated, it may be completely different, I don't know. Um, but I do know it looks like the old stuff. So what I have here is an original bottle of the original Crink Silver that's been kicking around the warehouse here. And what I'm gonna do is, um, I mean, obviously I can't do like a spectral analysis or anything here, but what I can at least do is just a basic smell test just to see if they seem to have similar solvents in them at least. Not the most scientific, but it's a good way to kind of get an idea. So let me get to a little bit of this aroma here. Yep, that's, that's what I remember it smelling like. Okay, let me take a look at this one here. Let me test again here. They do smell very similar. Now, I don't know if this is a new formula. I, I have no way of knowing, and they haven't told us. But it does smell very similar to the old formula. I'm going to guess that they're probably commercially packing it now. Uh, but man, just by looking at it, it's, uh, it's very, very silver metallic. So why don't we go ahead and fill up a mop with this so you guys can see what it looks like. Before we fill this mop up, let's make sure we give it a nice and thorough shake. Remember guys, this is highly pigmented ink and you have to shake it, my friends. You have to shake it, but don't break it. it took your mama nine months to make it. You know what I'm saying? So go ahead and give it a nice thorough shake. Make sure those pigments are evenly distributed. And remember, this is a silver metallic. They require more shaking than your average mop paint because the pigments are much heavier. All right, let's go ahead and get this mop filled up here. I got my handy dandy customized Art Primo official Green Ranger funnel. And let's go ahead and give it a fill. You guys ready for this? The poor guys love this. This is their favorite part of the video. Oh yeah, there we go. Get it all in there, baby. Look at that, oh, that looks beautiful. All right, not too much, guys. go first pour my friends I've been a little hard on Crink sometimes and and not because I dislike what he does um, I think he's a masterful marketer but because you can never stray from your roots you know what I'm saying you always have to remember your roots and where you came from and this right here my friends is the roots the original let's go ahead and cap this bad boy and get this mop nib nice and primed you guys ready, nib guys? All right, nib guys, let's give it a little bit of a pump. It's a mop, so it doesn't require a whole lot, but let's take a look at that. Oh yeah, that's a beautiful silver metallic. Very iridescent. All right, that's wonderful. This makes me very happy. Let's do the other two ounce mop too. Let's get this bad boy filled up. I think we'll only need one mop to do this video, but I'm just gonna get this one filled as a backup. And for those who don't know, the two ounce mop right here and the 1.5, they both use the same drip mop nib. So if you're ever using them, you can interchange them. And that, my friends, is great, great compatibility there. All right, let's go ahead and fill up this bad boy right here. Our Primo two ounce mop. Now these come in a glass bottle, so keep in mind that when they are shipped, they'll probably come in a box. You know, and a lot of people ask us about this too. It's a very good, actually now that I brought that up, why do a lot of mop inks come in eight ounce bottles and not bigger? 
the, the reason really is regulation. Once you go beyond eight ounces, uh, we have to ship it as an ORMD flammable materials product. So that's why you don't see a lot of these inks coming in 32 ounce bottles. If we have, the only one that we do is marsh ink and it comes in a metal jug and it does have to ship with UPS ground. So with this, it's easier to ship um, and it stays within the regulations. And you know, us graffiti people, we're all about the regulations, right? <laughs> we got a two ounce mop, we got a drip mop, and we got some crink ink, baby. This is the era of the crink mop. Now crink is famous for having a lot of drip, so I'm gonna start from the bottom and work my way up, lest I, uh, you know, flood myself here. So the first person I'm gonna hit up is Bulletproof Bullets, although I'm just gonna hit up the bullet. Sorry, buddy. I don't have a lot of room here. And yes, oh my God, this stuff drips like crazy. Hold on a second. Oh yeah, that is the crank I remember. Oh my God, that's beautiful. All right, let's do another hit up. I'm gonna hit up Snap here. Now Snap is a young rider who is just starting to get up and he wanted a little hit off there and I was like, you know, the best thing I can do with these videos is encourage young people to write, and do art, whatever it is that you like to do. Do art. Or just be a tagger, you can do that too. That's always a lot of fun. Let's give a little special hit off to the homie. He said his dad Joe passed away. And uh, his dad, Joe, was a musician, and he said he wanted people to know that Joe will live forever through his music, and I want Joe to know that we will be thinking about him over here. Big Joe, RIP. Woo, that's a gnarly drip. Hey, can, can you see the reflective nature of this right here? Look at this, look how reflective that is. This stuff is gnarly. It's even better than I remember it. All right, guys, let's keep it off with the hit offs here. Let's hit up the homie Kiri. I think that's how you pronounce it. Big Kiri in the house. Give him a little bit of love here. Oh, boy. These are drippy. Man, this, I gotta tell you, man, there, nothing is so fun like just writing a tag. I just, it's just so, it's so immediate gratification. It's just so enjoyable. I, I can tag for the rest of my days. Someone wanted me to write okra for some reason. Maybe they know I don't like it. I don't like okra, actually. <laughs> you know, my wife is from the South. She's always trying to get me to try it in different variations, and I just don't like it. It's too, it's too slimy for me. Let's do one of my seven tags. I want to do it like a stroke style. I always write seven. I'm gonna do it again too, just in case Ed wasn't filming here. It's a fun tag to write. I like writing numbers. Why don't you write some other numbers, Green Ranger? Okay, how about six? That's a good number. You know, it's funny, I wrote seven because I was like, eh, people aren't really writing numbers. And as soon as I started writing seven, I got peppered with a bunch of emails saying, Thanks for hitting me off, Green Ranger. So, what do I know? I don't know anything. I'm just tagging stuff. All right, let's tag up Colt. Some kid that writes Colt. He wanted a hit off. So there you go, brother. There's your hit off right there. Nice little Colt tag. A couple of these. All right, let's do one more. I'm gonna do a RIP Skate One. That guy was a true legend, man. You guys don't know you're probably pretty young big skate was a huge huge influence on a lot of us back in the day that is for sure so RIP skate may you forever rock it in heaven baby the metallic quality of this silver is phenomenal I wouldn't go on to say it's liquid chrome silver, but it is pretty darn close. Do the smell test again. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's the same. Let's do one more tag, just mega drip style. 
So let's just go mega drip, guys. Let's just do it. Look, come on. We just got to do it. So let's do mega drip. <laughs> they want to see the drips. <laughs> stand next to it well I just got silver crink all over my brand new Nikes so so you can be confident in knowing that this stuff drips like the Dickens as you can see right here this ink formula looks and writes just like the old formula but I don't know if it is the same as the old formula I have no evidence of that but if you're looking for that experience that feel that you get when you write with the crink you will get it with this bottle now remember, this is a highly pigmented ink, so make sure you keep it well agitated when you use it. That way you can get the nice, beautiful, consistent drips that Crink is famous for. And boy, as you can see right here, the drips, they're still happening. As far as applicators go, you definitely wanna make sure you use this with a dripping style mop. I don't think it's very well formulated for a valve action marker. Not to say you can't do it, but generally these pigmented mop paints tend to flow better out of a mop. Maybe you'll prove me wrong. Maybe someone will do it. In fact, I didn't even try it in this video, but it gives us an opportunity to try a future video, so that's good. But in my experience, generally, mop paints tend to work best in a mop. But I gotta say, I'm very happy with it. Uh, it does everything that I like, and I will definitely be using this in the future. So kudos, Crink. Thank you for making that silver mop ink. All right guys, that's it for this quick little mini review. I gotta say I'm very happy with it and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to like the videos. Don't forget to shop at Art Primo. And if you have any questions, just give me a call. 206-365-4083. Again, 206-365-4083. That's artprimo.com, baby. Artprimo.com. Your number one source where all my dreams come true. All right, I'll see you guys later.